What's up guys, how are you? Welcome to Supercars of London and a daily vlog headed into central London. As you can see, I am nowhere near ready and the time is midday. I've spent all morning editing, emailing, phone calls and I have been waiting so long to get on that train that I'm about half an hour away. But first, I haven't updated my phone in years, or like a couple of weeks, of music. So I'm going on the internet now, going on iTunes and just gonna get some music so that I can at least half enjoy my train journey into London. I still don't have a car. My girlfriend has the Fit 500 today, which means it is the train. And hopefully I'm gonna be up on the train around one, half past one. What a fail of a morning. So I said that I was gonna do music and my laptop crashed. Luckily, I got the video edited and online onto YouTube, but now I'm waiting at the train station where there is no current trains. Right guys, I have made it. Have not seen a single supercar yet. I'm walking down the back streets because it's the best place to vlog or kick off the vlog anyway. Um, but I'm just gonna be doing tours of the hotels, trying to get my camera in, seeing if there's anything about. Got some cars. Got an Aston Martin Vanquish, a Ventador AMG GT, and an SOK, but this is a good sign. Always people taking pictures outside the Dorchester for the summer. There is a Veyron, I can see a Veyron. Was lucky. Seriously lucky. Just filming the cars at the Dorchester. An English plate. Veyron Super Sport or Vitesse? I don't know, I think it was a Vitesse. Chrome and dark blue chrome. Insane. The most typical lineup, right there. Wire a six by six, Man Street Ghost and Maybach and things like that. Just gonna head straight to Harrods now. Now that I'm gonna come down from that Veyron, wow. That is insane. Currently sitting outside the rundown Cafe Rouge by Harrods with the Veyron in front of me and a film crew. Definitely news film crew. Now heading to Sloan Street, there is an F12 there and a 458 there. Two hours later, we're warping. Sam can't bear it, he's had a day at work. A long day at work. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. Not in, he's not in the mood. Basically, we're now sitting, if you can't recognise it, 
in Tim's Tesla mobile. And it's got a massive iPhone here. The e Shmi mobile. The e Shmi mobile. It's pretty cool, the iPhone. It'd be hard to make calls on it. Like holding that up against your head. Whoa! Ah! We just got random people <laughs> opening like, the door. Oh, yeah. We don't even know how to lock it. Shut the door. You're gonna, gonna, gonna get mugged. Here you are. Chill out, babe. I feel like we're animals in a zoo, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 so we're like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're animals in the zoo. People are gawping in. I feel like a lion, like a trap lion. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it feeding time? It's um. It's hilarious. We don't need, we don't even have to lock the doors. I wonder if you do lock the doors. Oh, though. oh, I know, that's nice. I want to be in a smart nice car. Lux, you know, like a taxi, like an Uber. Yeah, it would be a good Uber. You should make sure you catch startup though, right? Yeah. <laughs> no change. Sorry, where are the blinds? <laughs> no. <laughs> so. I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> I think we locked Tim out of his own car, but we're just basically c conversing, me and Sam, is that the right word? Conversing, yeah, yeah you can yeah, converse, yeah, about how this is the future of iPhone, this is the iPhone 10. Tesla yeah. have um, obviously... Well, it's ironically big, you know how like technology keeps getting made smaller? Apple were like, we're going to predict that in a few years we're going to go back to being big, so they've made it ironically big. Yeah. So, for example, this is the iPhone, current iPhone 6 Plus. To give you an idea of just how big this massive iPhone is it that we've got here. Sam's just taking a picture as though I'm on the phone on this iPhone here. I'm, I keep calling it an iPhone because it's the only touchscreen I know. What? Is it actually locked? Is it actually locked? Is it locked? Here's the key. How do we unlock it? Press the top. <laughs> Twice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't think we it was locked. Know. We're look at that. No, we actually didn't know it was locked. The handles come in. So, um, it's a huge... Damn. That was so fast at 30 miles an hour. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> 30 real damn quick. Oh, zoomed in. Whoa. London is chaos. Not that we've seen any supercars for the last two hours. I have not been vlogging. Uh, we're going to be going around Harrods now. And like I mentioned, no, I didn't put it in yesterday's vlog, but if you watch my Snapchats, you'll see that I was heading into London. Not to see a car, to see a person. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> there he is, the return of Dimmy164, my YouTube channel. And the last time you were on was when you said you're going to shut YouTube down. No, 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 no. But yeah, you were going to say that you're going to shut everything down, so you've got some, you've got some work to do. Definitely got some work to do. Yeah, so we're going to be wandering around London now. This is going to be the latest that I've stayed of getting the train home. I am vlogging right now. Oh my god. Oh uh, my god. god. Tell apologize. me what happens. Dimmy has just had spot of the year. Everyone oh knows my. Dimmy 164. 164 stands for 16.4. What have you got? To, what have you got to see? I, I haven't seen this car yet. I thought it had gone. Oh, what, what is it? Where's it gone? Tell him. Gigatti Viron, Mansori Viveri. Only two in the world, and there's one right here. This is outrageous. And like, I was half tempted to go home back up there at Par Lane. The Lamborghini Key, 